It's like us. Dr. King uh, is trying to show his position whenever somebody wants to kill. The position is means he wants to fight for the civil rights. And then the last part is anti-segregation. Anti-segregation, as you can see, the Michael, Michael, he, is the, he was the president of NAACP, which is National Association for Advance, Advancement of Colored People. Colored people means the black. And uh, he struggled for the social reform and uh, from the no, from before the from before the Dr. King was born, he he already fight fought to the equalize teacher salary and uh, and was instrument elimination of elimination of the black elevator in the post house. As you can see. Dr. King is also also struggle for the civil rights as possible as he can. It is similar to his father. Now let me talk about the family. You can see family is a two parts. One part is congeniality, second part is love. According to Dr. King's autobiography, he talked about his family. He said, my home situation is so congenial. Congenial. He he ever said I don't re I didn't remember any his parents ever argued with each other because of these factors. Love and the congeniality are significant more his uh, his religion attitude and his fighting for segregation in peace way. Now let me talk about the event. The terrible experience. Why I say the terrible experience? According to the Dr. King's autobiography, he said about <coughs> one story. The story is unhappy racial experience make a deep lasting impression on young Dr. King. This story when uh, when Michael took his son Dr. King to buy new shoes, buy new shoes. And when they came to the store, they sat down there, and the clerk came there to say, could you uh, go to the back of the store? And uh, Michael said, why? Because you are black. And then this is a very hard, this is hard, the, the Michael, no, Dr. King was very hard. And uh, his father tried to explain the prejudice. Prejudice means segregation, discrimination. And uh, he told his son said, the blacks are not are no longer the slaves, but they are not real free. Because of this, because of this terrible experience, the seed is growing in Dr. King's heart. Not only on, not only his father influenced the my, the Dr. King. Uh, Howard Howard Thurman also influenced Dr. King. Howard Thurman is his father, is is Michael's friend. And let me now let my partner Amy Lou talk about this part. Hello. Uh, my person is Howard Thurman, and he was born in 191900 and he was he died he died in nineteen eighty one. He was born in segregated um, Daytona, Florida, and he played three important roles. One is, um, one thing is, he was a able, very able minister, and he founded first uh, called Close Cultural, a mixed place church in the United States. Second thing is, he was a dean of um, chapel in Boston University and in Howard University. And he himself was a great civil rights movement leader and he influenced a lot of other uh, civil rights figures. Uh, I believe there are three things that um, Howard Thurman made on Martin Luther King. 
And uh, one thing is the book called Diseases and the Disinherited, which was published in 1949. And the second thing is that um, he was a friend of King's father, and he had a very uh, close relationship with his family. And the third thing is that he spiritually advised Martin Luther King a lot. First, uh, he was, a, as I said, he was a classmate at the Morehouse College, and uh, he was also a classmate and his friend, uh, Martin Luther King's father's friend. And uh, Thurman uh, made an early influence on Martin Luther King. And uh, while he was, uh, while Martin Luther King was attended in uh, Boston University, he visited Howard Thurman a lot, several times, and Thurman instead gave him and his friends, um, uh, Thurman mentored, which means spiritually influenced, spiritually influenced uh, how, uh, Martin Luther King and his friends. And we can say that uh, Martin Luther King's Howard Thurman's influence on Martin Luther King was not only uh, intellectual, but also personal, very personal. Second, uh, he, um, Howard Thurman's thought was based on uh, Gandhi's thought, and he would, Thurman found in 1936, Thurman led a Christian mission to South Asia. And they went to India and there they met uh, Indian leader Gandhi. And Thurman asked Gandhi what message should he bring back to the United States. And Gandhi said he really regretted that he didn't um, make the nonviolence more visible worldwide. And he suggested, uh, Gandhi suggested, that um, some American black men would accomplish the succeed where he had failed. Also, he co-founded the church called the, the Church for the Fellowship of All People, which is in California. And this church was the, the first fully integrated and multicultural church in the United States. Sorry. Last thing I think uh, he impressed Martin Luther King is the book called The Jesus and the Disinherited. And in this book he says the fear, deception, and hatred, all these uh, profit, prohibit a peaceful end to the racial discrimination. And he also said none of these laws are is the way of Jesus Christ. This book has much, um, much philosophical information and the foundation for non-violent civil rights movement. Actually, Martin Luther King carried a copy of this book wherever he went, and uh, he read this book before every single civil rights march. This is very impressive, and. Uh, um, he also, uh, Howard Thurman also passed his thought to not only to Martin Luther King but also to J James Palmer. Then my partner Joe will talk about him. Thank you, Andrew. So our last person today will be James Farmer Jr. Um, this remarkable American it has had an amazing, amazing intelligence. He was born in Texas in 1920 and he died in 1999. Um, he found, uh, he was one of the founders of the Congress of Racial Equality, CORE, which was one of the main organizations in the civil rights movement. Um, together with the NAACP, they helped to, to the civil rights movement to be successful. Farmer was the main person who applied the Gandhi's nonviolence concept in America. He was, uh, he was a very uh, he was a big representative of Gandhi here in America, and his concept 